hello welcome back today our video topic is floor and roof system in this video we will discuss what type of floor and roof system exist in building maybe you all heard about one way system and two way one way slab and two way slab actually this is a system one way system and two way system so let's move forward first we will discuss one way slab or one way system a one way reinforced concrete floor or roof system consists of members that have the main flexural reinforcement running in one direction what does it mean this mean that in one direction we have our main reinforcement and on the other direction we have distribution reinforcement so all the flexural forces uh, will be bared by this flexural reinforcement next point is members in one way system are usually horizontal but can be provided at a slope if needed we will discuss about uh, what is slope actually uh, most of design building design consist of slope in slabs for drainage of water so in one way system slabs are usually horizontals but can be provided at a slope if needed slope members are commonly used at the rooftop level what does this mean rooftop level let's suppose you have g plus 2 building okay uh, i will draw a cross section this is a first floor and this is a second floor so as you know as i discussed before that slope is necessary for the drainage of water so slope members are commonly used at the roof level so at the roof level where direct rain will come we provide a slope but in first level there is no rain so we will not provide a slope in gray structure of first level i hope you will understand it the load that is supported by the slab is transferred to the beam through span which must be perpendicular to the slab as you all know beams are uh, horizontal or perpendicular to slabs like uh, uh, in the next slide i will tell you what does this mean main flexor reinforcement for the one way slab is placed in the direction parallel to the load transfer which is a shorter direction this point is very important at site execution during site execution uh, we had a plan of reinforcement but in that drawing or plan on reinforcement designer didn't tell us that uh, which is uh, the main show, which is the main uh, load transfer reinforcement so how you can decide, how you can select which one is the main and which one is the distribution bar uh, uh, let me tell you with a example suppose you have a plan this is a plan i make one slab okay so uh, main uh, main reflection reinforcement for the one way slab this is a plan of a one way slab is placed in the direction parallel to the load which is a shortest direction so uh, let's suppose on drawing the length of this is 15 meter okay and uh, this one is 10 meter so if uh, you need to uh, decide from the plan you see that this uh, top is 10 meter so it's mean this is a shorter direction so which over steel come here this steel will be our main steel or main reflection reinforcement and uh, steel come along 15 meter like here perpendicular to this will be a distribution bar i hope you understand it let me tell you again suppose uh, this is this is a slab okay one side of slab is 15 meter and other is 10 meter okay on site at site when you are holding a drawing in your hand 
drawing doesn't tell you which portion is the main flexural reinforcement drawing only tell you dia and spacing of steel bar so it's you who shall decide which side will receive main flexural reinforcement shorter side shorter side receive main this is a shorter side this is our main steel and this is a longer side and this is our distribution steel let's move forward this is a one way slab beam this is a beam as you can see and this is a one way slab now we move forward to two way slab as the name suggests two way floor and roof system transfer the supported loads in two directions flexion reinforcement must be provided in both direction so uh, in both direction have main flexion reinforcement so when we are uh, constructing a two way slab at site so uh, we don't need to concentrate on which one is the shorter side or which one is the longer side both sides have equal lengths and both uh, the slab transfer the load in orthogonal direction let's see or what is orthogonal direction as you can see here this is a two way slab plan these directions the arrow shows the load transfer direction this is a two way slab so it mean it will uh, distribute load on both side this uh, some load going here some there air and air this is a orthogonal distribution of load flat plate system this popular system which is frequently used in residential buildings consists of a slab supported by column the form work that is required is the simplest of all floor and roof system because the underside of slab is flat it is commonly used as a ceiling of space below this result in significant cost saving civil engineering construction we cost is the critical factor every designer design such building which is economical cost effective cost saving so this pop this that's why this flat plate system is a popular system this as you can see this plain flat at the bottom this is a picture of a slab this is plain from the bottom and columns are run, coming out from this bottom of a slab flat slab system drop panels are provided around the these are the drop panels uh, let me highlight for you this is a drop panel this is a drop panel this rectangular side that's all i hope uh, uh, i am able to deliver my lecture uh, in a good manner if you like this video please comment subscribe thank you